The Ryan Tuberty Show on RTE Radio 1. Sponsored by Sky Fibre. Ireland's fastest growing broadband provider. Let me ask you a little bit about yourself because you're from what part of the country originally? I'm from Cork. You from notice I just slipped it in earlier on. Just you know. uh, Yeah, I, just, I wasn't sure because you, you, you sound like you've come a long way from Cork. I, I'm not well, hearing any Cork in, in, in you at all. Yeah, I went to college in Ballyfermot. So so that kind of, you know, flattened, flattened it out a little bit for me. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm from Cork originally, but I went to college in, in Dublin and then moved to Kilkenny nearly 20 years ago. Tell me about the idea, of, because with, I was thinking with the Leaving Cert results coming out and, and the focus on academ- academia and, and school and, and, you know, somebody came up, was, I was talking to somebody the other day, I think it was on this programme, and they said, school wasn't for me. And I totally mm-hmm. understand that. You know, some people are so bright and so clever, but the school thing just doesn't fit their their psyche yeah. or their brain or their whatever it is they're at. What, what happened to you at 15? Oh, I think, you know, I was, I would say really, I was completely lost for a finish in school. You know, I just, um, I was very quiet, very, I guess, creative and I would doodle a lot and, you know, all my, 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 my books were covered in doodles. But um, yeah, I just, it just didn't, I couldn't fit in. I couldn't find the place, you know, that was my place in, yeah. in, in school. So really for self-preservation, I just, I stopped, stopped going um, and kind of closed off for a little while until I got a job. I got a job with a, a woman in, in Middleton making these reproduction antique dolls. And I thought it suddenly uh, boosted my confidence to think that I was doing things that, you know, there were, there were you know, little, uh, uh, these dolls that hadn't existed that morning. I, you know, could create them and they would be there in the, the evening time. So that kind of uh, boosted my confidence up Um until my early 20s and I, I was able to go back to college. But in the meantime, I was always drawing. But it took me a long time to kind of even articulate to myself that this is what I wanted to do, you know, and this is what I was able to do. And this is where my, yeah, absolutely. So I think certainly now, I mean, like this is going back into the, the 80s, you know, mm-hmm. the, so for me back then, uh, and I'd say for a lot of people really, that if you were, you know, if you weren't, uh, if you didn't have a certain mindset, you probably weren't going to fit in very well. And mm. you either sank or swam or stopped. <laughs> and I stopped. Yeah. But I suppose that, I mean, if there is one thing I would like to say to, to, to young people out there, certainly it's it's not the end of the world, you know, and that there are ways if you're willing to work and if you're willing to, to um, you know, to put in the, the, the work and the heart, you know, the, the, the time to, to get a skill or to explore what it is about yourself that you can make your talents into, you know, workable skills, then uh, then you, you, you can do that. It's not the end of the world, certainly not. And you, you kept searching. You studied fine art for a little while and said, that's not for me. And eventually you headed towards uh, Ballyfermot, which is, mm. God, it really has produced some great uh, uh, skills and, and, and young people down through the years. A wonderful place, institution. Yeah. Um, but they didn't look at your CAO results. Again, an important development in your life because creative people and CAO mm. results don't often uh, uh, the twain meet. No, absolutely not. No, they looked at um, yeah my portfolio. So all all the drawings that I had done in the meantime, they looked at that and looked at my ability to uh, my stamina for drawing and my my how I was learning. And you, they could see from you know the drawings that I had done like you know, two two years previous to the ones I yeah. had done just before the interview, the the progression. So those were the things that interested them. And yeah. off you went and got stuck in. And then that brings us to where you've been, obviously uh, with the Cartoon Saloon in Kilkenny.